The Prime Minister Rubina Nabanja has said the NRM government appreciates the contribution made by private universities. She particularly noted that the location of this university, being close to DRSC and Rwanda, should be exploited to tap into the regional market and promote courses that offer industrial skills. I call upon the, this university and your graduates to actively participate and support the different pillars of the Paris government model, like financial literacy and inclusion. Identification of profitable enterprises, value addition, marketing, mindset change, among others. I want to conclude by thanking the university administration for the good leadership, the lecturers for preparing these young people, the parents and guardians for sacrificing and providing the needed resources. Thank you. Mwebale, mwebale, mwetelelo mungaro. You are the winners today. To the graduates, once again, congratulations. You are now into the world. Graduates, this is for you. But I want you to note the following. One, be open-minded to the opportunities you find out there. Our our children, I request you not to despise work. Be open-minded to the opportunities you find out there. I want you to fold your sleeves. I am not like your name of color and the woman. But for me, I want you to fold your sleeves and get your hands dirty to make money. Responding to issues earlier raised by area MPs, which included lack of a road unit equipment, some sub-counties lacking health facilities, and secondary schools, the Prime Minister pledged to follow up with the respective ministries and departments of government. Later, the Prime Minister performed the degree and diploma awarding. The Vice Chancellor Ibanda University Professor James Opolot appreciated government for the continued support and guidance. He said Ibanda University was strategically partnering with like minded institutions to improve its operational and academic standard needs. The university has grown nonetheless, COVID notwithstanding. As I speak now, just the other day, two weeks or so ago, National Council of Higher Education approved our application to start delivering postgraduate degrees. Best of all, this is no simple feat. But I think it is in recognition of the standards we move with as a university. The ceremony was attended by the Bishop of Northwest Ankole Diocese Rite, Reverend Amos Majizin, and Patrick Bitature, a renowned entrepreneur who is the force behind the establishment of this university. My message to you, the young people now, there is an urgent need for you to set your own goals. Stop blaming your parents. Stop blaming the government. Don't blame the schools you went to. Your destiny is in your hands. Now that you have graduated, and I tell you, you have the biggest gift because you have graduated. At this 55th graduation ceremony, a total of 997 graduated, and this included 530 female and 467 male. Shaidat Nasaku, UBC News.